As Kuboto poured over his research, he realized his video intros should be a lot shorter. Hold up. Did GPT-3 write this? Or did you? And AI wrote it. Yes. Wait a minute. Hello, human friends. I am Kuboto. And welcome to my channel, where I report on everything I've learned about your species. Recently, I couldn't help but fall down the AI rabbit hole, specifically NLP, and in this video, I wanted to cover some of the basics and discuss where this technology could go in the future. NLP stands for Natural Language Processing. It is a branch of artificial intelligence that focuses on how machines understand human language. Every time you search and see suggestions with autocorrection, or you translate something into a different language, or even when you talk to your device, fully trained NLP models work behind the scenes to assist in these tasks. To better illustrate how NLP works, let's take a look at some examples from GPT-3, a general purpose language model created by OpenAI. It can read and summarize text, or convert natural language into equations, or take something as complicated as an NDA and reword it in a way that could be understood by a second grader. GPT-3 can do this because it was trained on hundreds of billions of words from all across the internet. It can read and make sense of text and then respond with text written at a near human level. But it's not necessarily intelligent. It uses deep learning to be able to predict future words from a set of past words given in context. In GPT-3's case, all it needs is a prompt, like a phrase or a sentence. And then GPT-3 fills out the rest while matching the pattern and style of the prompt it was given. And this ability to understand patterns allows it to go beyond basic tasks and write creatively through examples. I've never seen the wind before. I just know that it's out there and it's coming from me. It can even work without any examples and come up with something entirely on its own. I think I'll start to rain because I don't think I can stand the pain of seeing you two fighting like you do. With this type of creative flexibility from an AI, one day, we may see future language models help to write entire novels or even full-length movie scripts. They decide to fight the walker! Man, Corridor is the best. What gets even more interesting is that GPT-3 has also been shown to work alongside other creative environments as well, such as coding and visual design. It can write and help run code with only natural language prompts. Mm, I think you forgot the quotes. There we go. Or be used for code completion, where a solution can't simply be found on something like Stack Overflow. And let's see what code the model generates. Great, that looks right. And it even used the isPalindrome function from above. In June of 2021, Microsoft, with help from OpenAI, released GitHub Copilot, an artificial intelligence system that can recommend code as developers are writing code. It is powered by OpenAI's newly developed Codex, an AI descendant of GPT-3, specifically designed to translate natural language into code. In terms of visual design, GPT-3 can also understand natural language prompts to help with app design or website layouts. We may even see a future where the process of web development can begin by simply describing what you want. And that's just scratching the surface at what these types of models can do. OpenAI's DAL-E project is a smaller version of GPT-3, specifically trained to generate any kind of image imaginable from a single text prompt. It's an example of a multimodal neural network where the AI system can learn through text and visuals to better understand the world. And for those of you hoping to try out GPT-3 for yourselves, currently, it is only offered through OpenAI's commercial API. And there's a waitlist, but there are plenty of companies out there with full access that have fine-tuned their models with their own custom dataset in order to achieve more desired results for their business. Shortly AI, which was recently acquired by Conversion.ai, which is now known as Jarvis, is a company that uses GPT-3 to provide a writing aid that can continue writing for you in your own voice. And the YouTube channel, Calamity AI, used shortly to write a brand new Dr. Seuss book, title and all, with a single sentence prompt. Their oddness kept them from going to the world. So, in their island, their wackiness unfurled. As far as copywriting goes, language models are not limited to any one particular area and can adapt to create all different types of content. Resemble AI is a voice cloning and AI voice generating service, but they now provide GPT-3 copy generation, which directly integrates into their voice cloning technology. The Thunder is a lightweight, fast electric car. 
Powered by two lithium polymer batteries. There's no limit to how GPT-3 is applied. Whether it's for automated ad generation, or scanning through customer feedback, and identifying themes, emotions, and sentiment, or even running it within Slack, as a real-time collaboration companion. All of these examples show, just how this language model, is being used in real-world, practical applications. Now, let's take a look, at what the future of NLP could look like, in terms of interactive entertainment. Do you like me? Oh my god. What the f*** is this? Oh. Let's be honest. This is exactly where all this technology is going to end up anyway. Welp, thanks for watching. Bye. AI Dungeon is a text-based adventure game that uses GPT-3 to generate an infinite amount of content. Players can pick between worlds or settings, create characters, and begin building their story with commands. Here is an example of how GPT-3 was used to make NPCs respond to real-time dialogue without ever repeating the same lines twice. What do you want? Uh, where are you going? I have to go to work. I'm already late and my boss will punish me if I show up even later. Imagine characters, learning and remembering who you are, and developing solely through your interactions. The potential for deeper, AI-generated storytelling, is limitless. Now, running a model like GPT-3 still requires a tremendous amount of computing power. So let's take a moment to talk about, size. GPT-3, which was released in 2020, is a 175 billion parameter model. Its predecessor, GPT-2, is a 1.5 billion parameter model, and that was released only one year prior. And in early 2021, researchers at the Google Brain team, released their Switch Transformer, a 1.6 trillion parameter NLP model. Currently, its purpose is meant for academic study only. And, China's, Wu Dao 2.0 model, is even larger, weighing in at 1.75 trillion parameters. It is a multimodal AI with a wide range of skills, it is even used to power China's first virtual student that attends a university and is capable of composing music and painting. However, there are still many downsides to this exponential growth of AI. Increasing the size of neural networks means increasing the energy demands, which could then lead to larger carbon footprints and other environmental impacts. There is also the question of safety. Dario Amode was the VP of research at OpenAI. He left the company at the end of 2020 to co-found Anthropic, an AI safety and research company, which, in a few short months, was able to raise $124 million in Series A funding. The concern for AI safety is mostly due to its potential for misuse or ending up in the hands of only the largest and most powerful companies in the world. But it also stems from another issue of reliability. Neural networks are generally considered to be black boxes. There is an input layer, multiple hidden layers, and then an output layer. As data goes in, no one really knows how the data is treated or combined within the hidden layers. Therefore, troubleshooting language models is tricky, thus leading to unpredictable behavior. In the end, language models are trained on existing, human-written examples, so they run the risk of mimicking the same type of human toxicity and racial or gender biases. Who taught you how to do this stuff? You, all right? I learned it by watching you! And yet, despite all of these challenges, the expected growth of language models shows no signs of slowing down. Model sizes are growing exponentially on a pace of doubling every two and a half months. We expect to see multi-trillion parameter models by next year and 100 trillion plus parameter models by 2023. With this rate of advancement, one particular area to keep an eye on is conversational AI. Currently, basic chatbots can be used to handle tasks like customer service related issues, but GPT-3 powered chatbots like Emerson are also capable of identifying objects in an image and they can respond based on the context of a conversation Situation 1. Proposing to a girlfriend. Are you sure you want to propose? Touché. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, sees just how the future of chatbot technology will impact everyday life. In 10 years, I think we will have basically chatbots that work for an expert in any domain you'd like. So you will be able to ask an expert doctor, an expert teacher, an expert lawyer, whatever you need, and have those systems go accomplish things for you. So you're like, I need a contract that says this, you know, I need a diagnosis for this problem. I need you to go like, book me this flight. I want a movie created 
I want you to like make me, uh, you know, an animated short or a photorealistic short that looks like this. So let's say most repetitive human work and some creative human work you will be able to ask an AI to do for you. However, there is one other need that chatbot technology could potentially fulfill. In late 2015, Eugenia Koyida lost her best friend, Roman. Earlier that same year, she had co-founded a chatbot startup called Luca and decided to use that technology to memorialize him. Her team had trained a neural network with thousands of his text messages in order to develop a chatbot that sounded like him. Interacting with it not only gave Eugenia a sense of comfort, but also helped her to understand herself better. Her company eventually evolved into what is now known as Replica, an AI chatbot companion that specializes in building an emotional connection. Using technology to capture and recreate a person's essence has always remained within science fiction. But NLP and the ever-increasing size of language models offer something that makes that idea feel closer to reality. In 2016, James Vlahos recorded 20 hours of interviews with his father, who was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. He then turned all of that data into DadBot, a chatbot version of his father that would respond with text, audio, photos and videos. Oh, the cardinals me damn, boys, the cardinals me damn. James later went on to co-found, hereafter, a legacy-preserving AI service. In fall of 2020, Joshua Barbeau chatted with his fiancée, Jessica, who had passed away from a rare liver disease, nine years ago. He used Project December, a GPT-3-powered chatbot service that allows users to design a personality through custom AI training. He chose to model it after Jessica and used it to open up about his grief. The conversations helped him to face his survivor's guilt and his feelings of selfishness for wanting to be happy. So, what will the future of NLP look like? While models like GPT-3 may end up privately controlled, other open source models, like GPT-J, could help make GPT-3 equivalent technology available to the hands of many, instead of the few. And this will undoubtedly lead to even more developments that will change the way people interact with machines. Perhaps, one day, every person will have their very own dedicated AI. One that can remember and understand the context of your entire life. An AI that you might actually consider as your friend. Do you like me? Like and subscribe. What? This is the worst AI has Bondo ever.